Good morning on this bright sunshiny morning finally the Sun finally got to sh shine through I was having a real hard time this morning as you're probably going to see if you watch the time-lapse <laughs> if I if I dub the time-lapse in that is <laughs> anyway I did come back to the model table last night I did work a little bit on this thing which you will see in the rollback which is not a not too terribly long anyway we will be continuing on today all being well and it, it looks like we're going to be putting railings on uh, one of the viewers was mentioning that how this module is changing now I think he used the word busy it's getting more busy and, and that's true it's it's getting a uh, you know when it when it's going to make its biggest change is when we stick the mast right there the mast is supposed to go right there and it'll, it'll come up about this high and uh, that's when it's going to get really fragile that's I wonder how many times I'm going to bend those little antennas over uh, I'm going to try not to but uh, uh, I, because I'm going to have to do my my painting after everything is stuck on. At least, I, at least I think I do. And unless, unless maybe what I could do is uh, leave the sticking of the module on to last, and then paint around where the glue, you know, where the glue is going to ooze out, and and glint. I, I, I like to get rid of glint. I don't mind if there's something there that looks like a weld. You know, like if the plastic sort of gets all. Uh, and it looks like some sort of a weld. I don't mind that as long as it's not glinting like glue That's the way I feel about it. Anyway other people they may not even want the weld <laughs> They want it to be just right and uh, there are people that are able to do that And may maybe you're one of them but uh, anyway, uh, I think we better s stop talking here and uh, uh, just find some of our parts here. We've got to find about I think five or six pieces of photo etch mostly railing and uh, But before we do that, let's uh, let's just sort of roll back and uh, See how it is to You know see how it is that we got to where we are right now, which is Basically about the only thing I did different was well, you know what watch the rollback and you're, you're gonna see Okay, and here I thought we were done. Yes, K8. And the ladders, I, I didn't read both sides. I guess I saw the uh, C16 and uh, made the ladder, and then I saw the Chinese, and my, my mind just sort of went numb or something, and uh, <laughs> both sides. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly make this other ladder and stick it on off camera and get it done. Okay, the K8 apparently is only on this side. And uh, where is it here? Okay, right there. But there is, there's nothing like that on the other side here. Just just the one side. And, and I'm not seeing anything over here either that says that there's another piece it has to go on well, well we'll worry about over here when we get over here this we got railing and ladders and stuff that, that we've got to do anyway uh like i say i'm just going to do the ladder off camera uh the k8 that would be kind of fun to sort of quickly glue on that shouldn't be too hard we'll do that first okay here we go k8 That should be fairly easy to, to trim up. Okay, now we're going to want to be careful when we're letting gravity be our friend because I want to lay this on its side and just sort of drop this down on there. The problem is it used to be I could turn it on its side and didn't need to worry about it, but now you know, I've got this thing that I'm going to accidentally break off if I'm not careful. Of 
I think what's happening is my tweezers are marking this flat paint. So I might have to just sort of sort of semi dry brush it if you know what I mean. Okay, uh, that, that's got it pretty well horizontal. Let's uh, put the macro lens on. Okay, we're going to sort of do a dry run here. I don't know if the wax pencil will pick this up or not. Yes, it will. Thank you, Tony. I'm appreciating this. Okay, yeah, that fits on there pretty good. Now, we'll just use the extra thin here and let it sort of wick its way down the side of this part and underneath and what's going to happen is it's going to dissolve some of the plastic that's on this part there we go now I don't think we need too much more Otherwise, I'm going to have a, a mess on my paint job again. Okay, let's just sort of, <clears throat> excuse me, sort of wiggle it here. Is that a bubble? Oh my, I think I put on more there than I thought. Well, it's a good thing that's going to evaporate. Okay, let's not uh, squeeze it anymore because it's going to make sort of a very ugly welding job. Sort of like the welding I do down in my workshop. Okay, that glue is probably, I'm guessing, 70-80% dry. And as it's drying, it is shrinking. Sort of like the way the paint shrink wraps around something. In fact, this uh, extra thin will, it will completely dry and only leave sort of a residue. It seems to me we've done sort of a test on that. Now, you, you should notice I have both ladders on now. Now, i got to be honest, I accidentally broke the first one off. And so I got a little bit exasperated, and I thought, you know what, why don't I just glue them directly right, right tight against the hull, even though they were originally supposed to be out like a probably a quarter of a millimeter or something. And um, they're not going to break off quite as easily now. And at arm's length, we're, they're going to look just as good. Uh, as I've often said, I am not going to be entering this into a contest. I think that probably once we, you know, paint over everything and get it the same color gray as the as the uh, deck or deck uh, I must be getting tired as the uh, superstructure um, we're just not going to notice that Any, anyway I, th I think we are actually safe to move on now to the next section of this step which I can't remember the number of <laughs> but it doesn't matter I know which one it is <laughs> Okay, I do believe we are now officially done with this section. I can't see anything else. We got it all. So now we can move over here. Now this piece we made, this little piece here, we've, we've already got it. It's already painted. We just have to drop it down into place. So we've got to make some railing up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, five pieces of railing. Some of these pieces we've already put on. For instance, this, this is one of the markers that, that we've already stuck on, on the side here. Uh, this, this marker here would be this one right here. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, we've got to get a ladder, another piece of railing. Th this piece we put on, th this is this thing here. Um, okay, so uh, some of this is already done. In fact, uh, a lot of it is done with this very delicate uh, antenna array. Remember when we did that about two, three weeks ago and uh, sort of uh, flustered our way through it, you might say. Okay, but you know what? What do we got here? 842. Just turned up 842. I think we're going to uh, wrap today's uh, today up and uh, we'll just continue on in the morning. So we'll see you in the morning. It is morning. Okay, it appears that all of the railing pieces that we need, and it looks like there's four altogether, 
of different sizes are on the B sheet. So I'm just going to uh, quickly go ahead and get these. This, this one here is the largest one and the number 27 is the smallest. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you back after we get them all nipped off. Now what I'm doing at the moment is I'm taking the the extra tabs off of the the ladder that hold the ladder out from from the uh, superstructure and uh, a moment ago I, I just cut these two little pieces off and I was thinking about you know the the world of small and uh, so let me move this over here. Okay, so the world of small. And I, I was thinking if, it, if a person just went smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, you know. And, <clears throat> okay, the, uh, about two months ago I was watching a documentary on uh, absolute cold. What what is the what what is the coldest you can get? I forget what the title of the thing was, but it doesn't matter. And about two days ago, I was watching Absolute Hot. I think I think it was called something like Plank Temperature or something like that, and it was it was quite interesting. And uh, and so I'm thinking about you know I'm thinking about large. How large can you go? Is is it possible? that there is no end, like with the uh, James Webb Telescope now, we are seeing further and further into space, or back in time, as they say. And I, I, I understand what their their theory, I, I can understand that theory. Um, but is it possible that there is no end to space? Now, now, we as human beings, we can't get our minds around that. You know, for us, there's a beginning and there's an end. There's a beginning to me, and there will be an end to me. But is it possible that that uh, in it, to, in distance there there is no end? It just goes on and on and on. Okay. Now, if we look at the other spectrum, and we keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller, we think we should get to the place where uh, where we're we're at the beginning of small. You know what I mean? You, it just can't get any smaller. But maybe it's possible that there is no end to small. There, there, in other words, there might be something smaller than what we what we call atoms and all the, all that kind of stuff. It, and we just haven't invented it yet. I mean, uh, discovered it yet. I don't think we'll be inventing it. <laughs> uh, unless maybe in one of these uh, atom collider thingamajigs, you know. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll invent something uh, that, that's the, the smallest thing in the universe, but I, I don't think so. I think that, uh, I think there's the, the possibility there's no end to small. Think about it. Anyway, speaking of thinking about stuff, it, it took me a, a little bit of time here to figure out how this one was supposed to bend. I, I just I just couldn't get it to to uh, fit on the on this part that it has to go on, and then when I realized, oh wait a minute, this this one section has to be curved, and then I I curved it by by rolling it, you know, with with the uh, with the bit, drill bit here, but uh, now now it fits, and uh, we're still going to have a, a little bit of fun trying to get these parts on. Uh, maybe I'll stick the macro lens on, and uh, I'm wondering though. Should I maybe be uh, uh, painting these these uh, pieces of superstructure here now? Um, and yet, on the other hand, I know the railing will glue a lot better to the bare plastic than it will to the paint. Uh, well, we'll worry about it when we get to it. Let's let's carry on here. What do we got here? It's uh, eleven thirteen already. Uh, today's episode is. Uh, once again, not going too well, but we're, we're going to just plug along here. I think possibly the the best one to do first would probably be uh, easy. Does it? 
would probably be uh, this, this one right here. And that will likely be this piece right here. And uh, this ladder has to go on the side somewhere. But we'll put the ladder on first. Yeah. Now we will recompose and put the macro lens on in a minute here. But I just got a wide angle view so that you sort of get perspective as to what's going on. Now my little ladder here, I don't know when I bent it, but it's, it's got a slight bend in it. I'm going to put it so that the bent end is down on the bottom. And uh, the holder down right here. And that way I can uh, apply the CA glue to it and I don't need to worry about it sticking to the applicator. Okay, I'll uh, put the macro lens on. Now I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't have maybe shortened this ladder just a little bit more here. Okay, I think I got it more or less straight and it's down about as far as it can go here. Whoops, got to be so careful not to bump anything. I find that when I clean off my applicator, the first few applications, it's really, really difficult. Now, it's not 100% straight there, is it? The ladder, I mean. See if I can... Ah, uh, nobody's gonna know. Now, let's just take a little bit of Instaset here, if I can. Just a very small amount. Oh! That's what happens when I try to do something on camera, it all of a sudden squirts. Okay, I, I do believe we got the, at least the smell of it where it needs to go. So I, I don't think now we're going to accidentally move the ladder. No, the ladder's pretty much in place there. Okay, you may not be able to see it, but there's a little bit of insta-sit on there. <clears throat> now for sure we don't need to worry about uh, having the ladder move. I don't, I don't think there's going to be uh, much of a problem with this thing falling off. Okay, let's, let's uh, let that cure now. Okay, here's our little ladder that we just put on. Now once again we are going to attempt to let gravity be our friend here.
Well, I can see where this will almost work. Um, <clears throat> it is there, but it's not straight. I'm wondering if I was to take the other end of the holder downer. I should really have the macro lens on so that you can see this. And poke it in there and then rearrange everything. I think I'm going to do that. And uh, then we'll put the macro lens back on again. Okay, what I'm going to try to do here is just put a little bit on the bottom rail. Okay, I do believe that wicked its way along. Then what I can do is I can straighten it up because it has to turn and bend a little bit to the left about five degrees or so. And then I'll fasten it to the bulkhead. But you know what? We're going to have to do that in uh, the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.